afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to NUS Open Day. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Li Wei. I'm currently working at Tan Tok Sing as well. I just recently graduated last year, so I'm quite fresh in the sense that uh, I only have half a year of experience. So, something interesting about myself, I represent the mid-career level. Uh, that means I used to be a secondary school teacher, so I left teaching at the tender age of 33 and I went into nursing. So, the reason why I chose nursing was because uh, I wanted to help people. Um, back then, when I was in ACJC, I did my A-levels. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So, when I graduated, uh, I was uh, acquainted with the nurses because I was hospitalised for a surgical condition. And I realised that the nurses were able to uh, do a lot of things that, uh, the, that, that I, I saw comforted me because uh, they, they made me feel more comfortable, uh, they made me pain free and they addressed my anxieties. So I realised that hey, this is actually a profession that doesn't just uh, wash people's back, backside and change diapers. Uh, and, but it also involves a lot of uh, family and patient communication and in itself is very empowering. In 2003, the whole country had SARS and, and my family was um, affected by SARS. Everyone had SARS, even I myself was admitted uh, to CDC, the Communicable Disease Centre. So no visitors were allowed in Tantok Singh or in CDC. Uh, family members are not allowed to come and uh, spend time or see, or see you. So when I was admitted, uh, my only friends or oh, my only companions that got me through was the nurses in the wards. So, um, being given that opportunity to experience how it was to be cared for by a nurse, uh, despite everyone's fear of getting infected by SARS, uh, that truly inspired me at a tender age of just 13 or 14 years old. And that spurred my inspiration to be a nurse and to be there for others when it's difficult for others to be there for uh, patients. As an advanced practice nurse, uh, it's like a hybrid of a doctor and a nurse and uh, we basically function at uh, a higher level and uh, I felt that it was important to uh, advance myself in that way, especially in the community sector because in the community uh, we are quite uh, independent and we need to have both breadth and depth of knowledge to manage a multitude of conditions in the community. We can also see that uh, uh, there's a recent uh, change in the uh, um, policy whereby um, APNs, APNs, they can now have prescribing rights so uh, after they go through a certain courses or programs so I think it will be beneficial for future APNs like Su you know, if she has pres uh, once she has her prescribing rights I think it will uh, make her feel very uh, empowered and motivated to continue being a proficient uh, nurse in the future. Yeah. Nursing is tough, you will deal with death, you will deal with uh, blood and bodily fluids and all sorts of yucky things that you never imagined that you would have to deal with in your life. But it is so rewarding, I cannot even explain how rewarding it is because when you see a patient come in hooked onto four different machines on ten different medications and eventually get up, walk out and go home. It's just a feeling that is out of this world. I, I, cannot, I cannot even explain it. Studying in NUS nursing has played a part in increasing my knowledge and increasing my critical thinking in order for me to practice with the best of my abilities. It has um, taught me about the brevity of life and um, just seeing, uh, in times of adversity, seeing how um, a very loving uh, caregiver takes care of um, his loved ones in times of adversity is so touching, you know, that um, it also teaches me about how um, I view life and how I should be a better person to my own family members. Yeah, so I think nursing is more than just a profession. Yeah, it, it is... It is a calling. Uh. We save children, we save patients every single day and that's something that's rewarding in nursing.